Attack on Titan, 10 Biggest Betrayals of the Series, Ranked Attack on Titan was full of twists turns, including some major betrayals that left the characters' fans in shock. Attack on Titan is one of the best stories ever written for many reasons, and one of them is how great the betrayals were. Some of these moments came as a shock to the characters to learn that their comrades were actually enemies. While other moments hurt fans to see their favorite characters fight against each other. In both cases, Hajime Isayama proves to be a genius at writing great betrayals. Throughout the manga series, characters would constantly switch sides and reveal that they were someone nobody expected them to be. Certain betrayals have left bigger impacts than others, and some of them take place after the current point in the anime. 10. Annie turned out to be the female titan. The first betrayal in the series was when it was revealed that Annie was the female titan. While many fans were able to predict this, the main characters, especially those who knew her from the 104th Cadet Corps, were shocked. When Annie was first introduced, she was very distant from her comrades and didn't get along with them. Despite being strong enough to join the military police, one person who did get close to her was Armin, who realized that she was the female titan. Mikasa and Eren, who didn't want to face the truth, teamed up to fight her. 9. Zeke revealed that his parents were Eldian Restorationists. When Zeke was born, his parents, Dina and Grisha, hoped that he would save the Eldians in Marley. They were shocked to find out that he told Marley that they were members of the Eldian Restorationists. Shortly after, they were sent to Parody, where Dina would be injected with Titan Serum and Grisha would inherit the Attack Titan and start a new life. However, Zeke had only betrayed them so that he and his grandparents could stay alive. Knowing that Marley was about to find out the truth anyway. He also secretly plotted against Marley for years, hoping that he could take the founding Titan and stop Eldians from being born. Considering himself to be an Eldian restorationist, just like his parents wanted. 8. The Survey Corps felt betrayed by Aaron. Betraying loved ones in order to help them seems to run in the family. Aaron practically forced the Survey Corps to invade Marley in order to help them. Resulting in them no longer trusting him. He also led the Yeagerists against them and began the rumbling, which killed the majority of the human race. Despite doing these terrible things. Though, Aaron's goal was to make his friends look like heroes as they fought against him, ensuring that they would live long, peaceful lives. 7. Kenny wanted to steal the founding titan from Rod. Because the Rice family hunted down the Ackermans for years, Kenny was shocked to see Yuri bow down to him. The two became friends. And Kenny was able to learn about the founding titan's powers. Wanting to become its inheritor, Kenny pretended to work with Yuri, Rod's brother, while secretly plotting to steal it. In doing so, Kenny turned his back on the nation that forgave him for all of his crimes and even gave him a high position in the military. Unfortunately for him, inheriting the founding titan wouldn't give him much power since he wasn't a rice. Everything that Kenny worked for since Yuri died was completely pointless. 6. Emer left Historia to help Bertholdt Reiner. Emer grew up in Marley. After being thought of as a goddess by a group of Eldians, the Marleans discovered her and injected her with Titan Serum. Years later, she ate Marcel, an inheritor of the Jaw Titan, turning her back into a human. She started a new life in parody and fell in love with Historia. However, after she found out who Reiner and Bertholdt were, she betrayed the girl she wanted to marry in order to help them because she understood them more than anyone else in parody thanks to her background. However, this caused parody and Historia to be in greater danger. Historia was very hurt and confused by Emer's actions, which would become Emer's biggest regret. 5. 
Kruger turned out to be the Owl. Similar to Emer, Kruger betrayed the nation he lived in and the people he cared about in order to help others. He was originally introduced as a Marlian officer. However, he secretly worked as the leader of the Eldian Restorationists, the Owl. When the Eldian Restorationists were discovered, he let the majority of them be injected with Titan Serum. Which was far from the first time he ruined Eldian lives. He then revealed that he was also an inheritor of the attack Titan, which he passed down to Grisha, hoping that he could continue their mission and save the Eldians. This resulted in Marley losing one of its greatest weapons and Porco not being able to become a warrior until he ate Emer. 4. Zeke left Marley helped the Survey Corps. After revealing that his parents were Eldian Restorationists, Marley considered Zeke to be the most loyal warrior candidate they had. After he inherited the Beast Titan, he proved his loyalty even more by going to Paradis to help the warriors who went there before him and killing a lot of Eldians there. However, this was all part of Zeke's plan. He wanted to find a way to use the Founding Titan to stop Eldians from being born. That way, they would no longer have to feel pain and the rest of the world wouldn't be afraid of them. After finding out that his own brother was the Founding Titan, he worked with the Survey Corps to make Parody a greater nation and eventually left Marley. Zeke would betray the Survey Corps as well shortly after. Turning many Eldians in Parody into Titans. 3. Aaron revealed that he wasn't on Zeke's side when they went inside the coordinate. Because Zeke truly wanted to work with his brother, Aaron was easily able to manipulate him into thinking that he agreed with his plan. He bonded with Zeke when they went to Marley, helped him in any way he could, and waited until Zeke was ready for the two of them to go to the coordinate. However, once they arrived, Aaron revealed that he was never on Zeke's side, having different intentions for going there. Zeke had suspected that Aaron may have been lying to him the whole time, so he brought him inside of their father's memories. Hoping to show Aaron how Grisha manipulated him. It turned out that by going into Grisha's memories, Aaron was able to use the attack titan to get him to kill the Rice family, inherit the founding titan. And pass it down to a past version of Aaron, creating an endless time loop. Not only did Aaron turn his back on Zeke, but Zeke helped him do it. 2. The Yeagerists The Survey Corps fought each other. For years, Aaron was seen as the Eldians on parody only hope. Being a titan shifter who fought for them, he was loved by many. In order to ensure that his goal would succeed, Aaron formed a new group, the Yeagerists, that consisted of his followers. They became so powerful that they were able to overthrow the military. The Survey Corps, still wanting to do what was best for the world, were shocked and devastated to have to fight soldiers they were friends with earlier in the series. The Yeagerists were willing to do anything to make sure that their loved ones and home would be protected. While the Survey Corps continued the mission that many Yeagerists used to believe in. This meant they had become traitors to each other. 1. Reiner Bertholdt revealed that they were the Armored Colossal Titans. The greatest moment in Attack on Titan was arguably and Reiner and Bertholdt revealed that they were the Armored and Colossal Titans. The plot twists that came before this were quite predictable for fans, which made this moment even better, as they were confused and shocked to hear Reiner's confession. For years, the two warriors acted like older brothers and close friends to characters from the 104th Cadet Corps, helping them out however they could. Knowing that the people he looked up to killed his mother. Aaron was furious, while those around him were terrified, thinking there was nothing they could do. It was this betrayal that made a lot of fans realize that Attack on Titan was a masterpiece. <laughs>